LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Mission and liftoff. Got speed Endeavor and crew two. Copy one alpha. Endeavor launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on crew two now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. We are T plus 30 seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure, max Q, is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. Supersonic. Throttling down helps us pass through this period, which should be coming here shortly. Falcon 9 now traveling at 1,500 miles an hour. Impact engine chill has started. Now from here coming up in about 20 some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage Stay separation. Throttle down. And then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit. Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. All right, one Bravo is the second abort mode on the first stage. Two hey, Alpha. Nico. Copy, two Alpha. Acquisition confirmed. Acquisition signal one. In the acquisition. And we have ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T-TEB fluid. The ex extent expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we like to see. Good performance on the second stage so far. Second stage propelling our four astronauts up the eastern seaboard. We'll continue to fire to deliver the astronauts into orbit. We'll wait for a cue for good orbital insertion after that. Meanwhile, we'll be, we'll be hearing uh, check-ins on the vehicle's trajectory and performance, as well as check-ins with some of the ground stations as it passes over. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Shannon. Copy Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of the stage two, a few seconds until cutoff. In the shutdown. Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Launch escape system disarmed, copy. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Meanwhile, the first stage 
has reached apogee and it's now beginning to descend from uh, a height. It's currently about 167 kilometers up. And in a few minutes, we will get the entry burn of the second stage, of the first stage. The Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase. It'll take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check-ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on HQ that second stage. propulsion is nominal. Stage two FTS has saved. We've got the center engine ignition and there come the two side engines. It's gonna significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete, continuing to look good on the first stage, heading to the Atlantic Ocean for a landing on the drone ship. Well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two in terminal guidance. Copy, nominal orbital insertion. All right, the Falcon 9 second stage has done its job delivering our four crew into orbit. You hear the applause here in Hawthorne. We're waiting to get a video signal back from the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And the view from the onboard camera, we saw it just briefly. It looks like first stage on the drone ship. Getting views of the Dragon trunk. So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed, and more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up, Gary. Dragon separation control. Dragon, stay safe. Dragon. 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 Say hi to the crew of Dragon Museums from us and let them know your rocket is home safe. Thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. See you side, crew two. Thank you very much. We're great. It's glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to crew one when we get there. Thanks. Meanwhile, the uh, Dragon is configured for, for a nose cone deployment. We'll stay The nose cone itself opens uh, just beyond 90 degrees, about 105 degrees to expose the forward uh, bulkhead Dracos, those forward bulkhead Dracos. Four of them at the very top of the Dragon will do the bulk of the work when it comes to firing the Draco engines for minutes at a time to increase the uh, Dragon's speed, altitude, and phasing to catch up with the International Space Station again over the next 23 hours. Very good. Well, from here in Hawthorne, it was very exciting to see the uh, Falcon 9 lift off and deliver our four-person crew into orbit. We're going to be with you throughout the entire phase, uh, the rendezvous phase, uh, until Dragon and his four-person crew docks with the International Space Station. That'll be over the next 23 hours. We'll bring you through some of those major burns uh, that are happening. But I am so jealous of Marie and the group <laughs> over there over at the Kennedy Space Center. You actually got to see the launch and probably feel it as well. Marie. What was that like?